lovelies, it's been such a long time since my last vlog, um, but this time I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, at the moment I'm currently working on some new minis designs, but I really wanted to spend some time giving back to the community. There are so many amazing artists out there, um, so what I decided to do um, in coincidence with my current Patreons, and I have seven now, so thank you to my lovely Patreons, um, is we decided decided we were going to put some money towards um, investing and supporting other small businesses out there. Um, for this occasion I chose primarily UK based artists and what I thought I'd do is put together some footage and go through the unboxing um, of each of the packages that arrived. It was a little bit like Christmas for me but I really really enjoyed it and um, what I did find is there's such a variety in the different types of packaging and how people, um, many were at the very early stages of um, setting up their businesses where others have been going for a little while and I hope you find this useful and I really also hope that the businesses that I've chosen to support also find it useful um, in a positive way perhaps I don't want them to compare by any means what they do to other people because that makes them unique but perhaps they might pick up some ideas or some tips um, but anyway I'm going to finish with this little bit of a um, footage of creating some of my mini sticker sheets and we'll swap over to the unboxing uh, whatever you're doing at the moment I hope you're keeping well and um, let's get going shall we Okay, so the first unboxing comes from the lovely Lauren and she is from a store called Pintada Designs. Hopefully I've said that correctly. Um, so it came in a lovely blue box and I've opened up, I really like the blue crinkle paper by the way. <laughs> um, I'm trying as hard as I can to give you an honest unboxing view. Um, but it we started with a gorgeous, gorgeous um, sunflower and bee pin. And I really, really like um, the detailing. I also love the, the backing card. So she's put so much effort into designing a backing card that matches. Um, and it looks like the little um, bumblebee is sitting on top of the flower. And it's all in one. I also got a gorgeous um, little sticker pack as well. It's one of those glycine sleeves. And um, I was so tempted to open them straight up. <laughs> um, really, really cute. And I like the quality of the stickers as well. And just the whole presentation of the box, it just made me smile. Um, and this here is the little, um, it's like a printed thank you card from Lauren with a handwritten message on the back. Uh, it's such a lovely little touch, little things like that I think really do make a difference. And it came in a really pretty box, um, so thank you so much. Um, I will actually link the name of all of the um, places I supported in the comment section down below so that's the first package and thank you very much to Lauren okay so the next package comes from a lovely store and it's called beam and bloom and it came in a cute little box again and there's some lovely tissue wrap paper um, with a P&B little sticker logo sticker on the front and I absolutely adored these um, handmade scrunchies there's a lovely star in moon print one it's really soft material and also there's a, like a little bumblebee flower one it's made of like a cotton material and they're really 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 flexible um, I'm currently wearing one of these now because <laughs> I really like them uh, it comes with a freebie sticker um, apologies by the way if the filming isn't as clear as it needs to be I'm still saving up for that camera um, but there's a lovely spread the love little handmade sticker there and I also um, purchased a die cut dinosaur cute sticker really really sweet and then I really liked this touch and um, I think it's such a lovely idea so there's a thank you card on the front with a little message so thank you Esme and on the back this is really unique and it's kind of like a spot five differences and I really felt she goes above and beyond and just does that little extra touch um, to make you smile um, I really really like this idea so I might be in, <laughs> in contact with you soon Esme um, so no just something a little bit different um, but yeah I really really enjoyed unwrapping this package as well and that was from the lovely Esme at Beam and Blue 
Okay, so the next package comes from the lovely Deli, and she's part of Deli's Designs. You may recognise her little penguin um, if you know of Deli and her work. Again, I was really excited to unwrap this package. I quite like the um, the tape on the back. So she has her own customised tape, which is really nice. Um, I've also learned through this packaging process that I'm not very good at opening envelopes. So, side note, that's something I'm going to practice. Um, so there, let's have a little look. And I quite also like the penguin on the outside. Uh, Deli's branding often comes in this pretty yellow colour. Um, and I decided I would purchase one of her little colouring books. So let's have a look really really pretty um, as much as I could I tried to keep the <laughs> tissue paper um, but we've got a nice little thank you note from Deli it's lovely to get a handwritten note you just feel like um, the order's a little more personalized to you and this is her amazing coloring book it's such a cute size as well and a book inspired by words Um, this is something I'd love to do myself actually create a coloring book, but no, thank you Deli um, The little heart confetti is a nice touch as well The next package comes from Bird's Eye Belazaire. I really hope I've said that properly I was taken overall by not only the customization of the packaging, but um, how beautifully presented this was also um, it, it really stood out in terms of just that extra little bit of effort um, that's being put in and the customization. Um, I tried really, really hard to keep <laughs> the tissue paper where I could intact. And you get a bath and body care little business card. I did um, try to support the various stores just based on um, stationary products on this occasion, but she does sell some beautiful candles, so you get a candle care card there. Um, it came with some little freebie stickers, which I thought were really, really cute. So thank you. And I also purchased a to-do list a memo pad. Um, it came in quite a unique little um, bag, and I really struggled opening it. <laughs> but um, but it, it really it does keep the product safe, to be fair. And it's almost like one of those little wallets that you get. And um, when I finally do manage to get into it, uh, it's really really pretty lovely quality paper actually and over 50 sheets and yeah thank you I, I enjoyed opening this package and I hope you find it useful so far comparing um, not only comparing the different ways of presenting packaging but how different they really are and now we have a lovely package from Squiggle and Spud it came in a hardback envelope and this, along with one of the other orders, actually had like a slip which showed you what you purchased. But a super, super cute thank you card. Um, I really, really like the Little Earth Planet and a matching freebie sticker, which was a nice touch. Um, on the back of the card, I also had a personalised message from Amy. Just adds that little touch. Um, you feel like you're getting like a gift when you unwrap it. And then I also purchased a sticker pack and a sticker sheet. And they're really cute. The April showers, little frog and April themed stickers. It comes in a biodegradable bag, which is nice as well. And the sticker sheet, I am a fan of stickers. <laughs> I sell a lot of stickers on my store, but it was really nice to compare different types of sticker paper and the quality of the sticker paper as well. And these are really cute little um, mushrooms with their adorable faces. And I can see myself using these in my own planner. Um, but I had a little, um, little envy of how soft the paper was. Uh, really easy to peel off as well. And she has quite a, a large selection now of stickers if you wanted to go and have a little look at the Squiggle and Spud store. I couldn't help myself, I also had to unwrap this sticker pack just to see and feel the softness of that sticker paper again. But yeah. 
also like the pastel shades within the stickers um, but you know, this is really really sweet and so thank you Now on to the next package came from cutestickersonly.com and once again the branding, the tissue paper, um, it all was a really nice package put together. Now this store is owned by the lovely Desi and I tried so hard not to <laughs> tear the packaging again. The reason I'm being so careful with the packaging, not only because I'm filming for you, um, is because what I've decided to do is all of the products, um, the majority of the products that came through, I've actually shared them as part of the Patreon goodie boxes so that my Patreons have a chance to experience your lovely packages as well. Um, but there's some gorgeous crinkle cut paper and this is really unique I'm actually going to show you a little bit more in detail at the end of this um, but I love that dog so you get like a cream crinkle cut paper and then a selection of different types of stickers this was so cute I didn't actually open it up because as I said I was sharing them with my patreons so they had their own little unique individual goodie boxes this month but really really nice and that uh, the dog logo is adorable so you've got that one there and then a lovely selection of different types of clear stickers featuring little bear and again the packaging is quite protective and this was something a little bit different which I really liked actually and it comes with quite a few sticker sheets within the one pack So now I was determined to have a closer look at this. It's almost like a, a tape with a sticker print on it. And I have since used it in my um, my own little planner. But yeah, so I hadn't seen anything like this before. But yeah, so it comes with, it's almost like a little coffee coffee cup coffee mug design print and you literally if you've ever used the tape um, almost like the, the old tipex where you put the tipex across your book you do the same action and it puts the tape of the stickers across it so no thank you I really like that one as well okay on to our final one for this um, unboxing is UK crafting memories now I only purchased a small order um, from this store on this occasion but she has so many lovely cards and print designs that um, I'd really encourage you to go and have a, a really good look and I will be back definitely. Um, but So you had a little note and then it came with uh, the sticker that I purchased on this occasion. I thought the self love club was a really nice touch uh, but do please go and have a look at all of her wide selection. Uh, her prints and cards are, are gorgeous and she's got some stickers as well. So lovelies, we've come to the end of uh, part A of this unboxing. I have another vlog coming soon uh, where I support another selection of businesses. But if you get a chance, please go and check them out because even a little bit of support really does help them.